What's up guys, welcome to the vlog. Today we are uh, Today we are working on packaging all the Legends Media orders, which we have been doing right now. We ran out of shipping labels, so we're gonna head to Staples and go get that right now. And also, also we're gonna go get a bunch of Chick-fil-A for everybody in the warehouse, because TJ also has his drop today and he's packaging orders. So we're gonna make a food run, uh, get some more shipping labels, and then I am tracking my WRX tomorrow. So we're gonna head back to Sean's house and we're gonna check my fluids. I gotta change my wheels because I'm not tracking the car on the Workmeisters, and then we should be good. So yeah, let's go. Whoa, what is this? Where did you get this from? Dude, this is what happens when you get Chick-fil-A for the whole crew. Yeah. This barely fit in the NSA. Barely, bro. Barely, we'll see you guys at the warehouse. I come bearing chicken. Lunch, yeah. bro. Oh. <laughs> all right, so we finally finished up packing up all the orders. Well, mostly all the orders. I still have to package a few banners once Mickey gets done making them. But all of these orders will be out on Monday. That already done. I think I have 20 banners done and all of the die cut and box stickers getting ready to ship out. So what we need to do now is get this car ready for the track. So yesterday, Mickey rebuilt my bumper for me. I'll put in a little clip of that. <laughs> So, Mickey did that for me, and now I need to put the bumper back on, take off the rear wide body fenders, and then we're gonna go to Sean's house, and I'm gonna put on these stock Evo 8 wheels, because I do not want to track with these. Definitely not good, so let's go put the bumper on. Ready to see this bumper back, dude? Yeah, that's it. Show this, this bumper job, you like it? Hell yeah, it looks so, like you have it's not pretty, but it's freaking stable. Show them the work from the inside. So, Mickey did a bunch of flat glass work on the inside to make this thing nice and sturdy. Yeah, just sanded it down and pieced all the parts. Dustin was really good about grabbing all the parts when it broke. We were able to kind of piece it back together like a puzzle and then just re glass everything. So. It doesn't look good, but that's for like a body shop to do. So, they would sand all this. Bondo that up, you know, they make it look good. But for purposes of being on the track, I'm just gonna leave it like this. And I didn't want to show up to a thermal with no front bumper on. So we did this and it kind of worked out. So we're gonna go put this back on. All right, let's do it. Hey, hey, look, that's brand new. Oh God. All right, bumper's back on. Definitely looks pretty rough, but it'll do for track day and until I can get a new bumper. Probably gonna go with the Varus. I'm just looking for one in the States right now. If I can't find one, I'm just gonna order one from Varus. But that will have to do for now. Ready to head to your house, check the fluids, change yeah. the wheels. Let's do it, man. Cool. Alright, 
Now that we are at Sean's house, I think the first thing we need to do is take off the wheels, put the stock Evo 8 wheels on, and then we can change our, we can check my oil and do all of that stuff. All right, we are now gonna yeah. take off these wheels and prep for the track. Let me, let me, let me say this. You guys put a lot of comments in the last video saying why, like, why would I track this? Why would I take the diffuser off? I'm gonna explain this right now. I took the diffuser off because it was made of like this cheap ABS plastic that, is, that gives me no functional downforce and provides no help to me on the track. And number two, I don't want it to rip off on the track if I hit like a tire or God forbid I go off track or something, it's gonna tear off the rear bumper. So I didn't want that to happen, so I took off that diffuser. Number two, I curbed my wheel. Yes, I curbed my wheel when I destroyed my front bumper. If you guys didn't watch that video, I like hit this small curb going into a gas station and destroyed the bumper and it also curved the wheels. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna keep these Evo 8 wheels on the Subaru and since these work wheels are coming off, I'm gonna take them, get them rebuilt, new lip and a new color. Yes, the curb rash is getting fixed. And number three is the only reason I'm taking the Subaru on the track is because the Evo is not done being wrapped. I had planned to take the Evo to the track because as you guys know, the Evo will be my dedicated track car, but it's not done being wrapped. So I'm gonna take the Subaru and then after it gets tracked one time, it will be my dedicated show car and you know, get the bags, get new wheels. It's gonna be awesome. So I'm glad that I actually get to track this one time before it's like my dedicated show car. So let's get to work. One side is down. Evo wheels are on the car. We got the wide body from the back off. Ready to drop the side. It actually doesn't look bad with the Evo wheels. It's funny. These wheels look good on every car. <laughs> there we go. Thing looks good. Actually does not look bad. Looks pretty good. I mean, for no fenders and a messed up bumper, can't complain. My friend Sebastian just stopped by to say hey, and he brought Sean a magazine. But this isn't any just regular. This is just another Super Street magazine. No, guys. why don't you show him what's up? All right, so I have a bookmark and everything. Look at this. Oh, Bam. is that? Yeah, that's, oh, that's it. Dude, that's so sick. So yeah. Sebastian dropped that off for Sean. Sean actually made it into like the, like the shout out section of a Super, Super Street, Street magazine, yep. which is freaking awesome. So let's give you guys a little walkthrough of the car right now as it sits before we go to the track. We removed the rear wide body. It's gone, we put the Evo 8 wheels on, which actually looks pretty good. So Evo 8 wheels on a Subi, doesn't look too bad. So here's how it sits. I actually like it. It looks like super mean. It look looks really good. The tires are meaty enough for it to give it a good look too. Yeah, so, so it actually doesn't look bad. I, I expected it to look pretty ugly, but it actually looks kind of good. It's cool. Now that this is all done, we are going to pop the hood, check the oil, check the coolant, and check the trans fluid. Let's do it. All right, so we have the dipstick for the trans. We're about to check it out. Okay. Let's see. That's good. The color looks good, so I'm gonna wipe it off and then dip it in there. Lucky for us, my top mount is taken off, and I have a front mount, so plenty it's super, of room. Yeah, it's super easy for us to get back here and check the trans fluid. Yeah, you're good, dude. Perfect. Oh, look at that oil all the way, dude. Yeah. Money, dude. That's perfect. You're good on oil, Dustin. Dude, dude, we are ready for the track. This is okay. So we checked the coolant. We are uh, just like a little bit, a uh, little bit low on the coolant. It's in between the full and the half sign. So I do actually have some 50/50. 
ready to go. So tomorrow before the track, I'm gonna check it again. Maybe pour a little bit in there before the track and just monitor, monitor it throughout the day, but I have a full jug. So we're good there. Um, now, me and Sean are gonna go to the gym and I'm gonna fill up with some E85. So I think the deal is my car runs on flex fuel. So I run about 80% E85 and 20% 91. So I'll fill up for E85 for the way there and then I'm probably gonna run out at the track and then at the track just fill up with 91 and go 91 the rest of the day. So let's do it. station I don't need the 85 so made it I have to head home now edit this vlog and get ready for the track tomorrow so I'm going to end the video here thank you guys very much for watching I'll see you at the track in the next vlog peace out